True Dynamic Sliding Window. Hi everyone, this is Sam with Python Basics. So in today's video, I've been trying to do this a couple of times and have, have uh, been unsuccessful. But um, in yesterday's challenge that we're doing on live stream, uh, we needed to come up with a solution uh, for an optimized solution where we needed to have a true dynamic sliding window. So what I really want to kind of highlight here, um, well first, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do, we do micro videos, one video at a time. So what, what I really like about these challenges that we do is the edge cases that are created. So the first go through is I was incrementing through and um, iterating through the string and if I found a duplicate I was moving to the next string well that's not exactly the best scenario because what would happen what was happening is I was going through the length repeatedly well we couldn't have duplicates so what I devised here is I've been trying to do this for a while so if you look, I have, the, I have the printout of this string right here. And it was to find the longest substring without repeating characters. So when I did this the first time, I was coming through. And if I found a duplicate, I started over. And I moved to the next character in the string. Well, in this example, if I had two characters side by side, and as you can see right here, if I had two characters side by side, I would be having the same problem. So I came up with a double pointer approach where I had my index as I was indexing through. So I have a for loop, while loop combination. And then I had a test right here for if the next character is the same as the last character I did a reassignment so I want you to look right here as I'm moving through and when I get to this M right here and my next M same character it stops moves everything over so I would completely not recheck because in my original algorithm what I did is I'd go okay now let's check D through M. <laughs> let's check F through M. Well, that's pointless because we know we have a double character here. So I wanted, just wanted to take a second. And if you look really close, what I'm doing is basically here was my start point. Here was my index, but left my start point there unless I found a double side by side. Then I moved everything over but not when it hits a double because our edge case with this one right here, this longest substring without repeating characters is a is three. Where because our old way was, I, I wrote this in my first attempt, if it found a double, skip everything, move over to here. Well, there are times where it needs to repeat. So just wanted to share this for a real quick video today. These are the type of the challenges that we're doing every day on the live stream. So if you can make it, try to jump over there, ask some questions, see what, um, see what problems we're solving. Make sure you're on the Discord server so you can get the help that you need and deserve. Make sure you're hitting that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.